Hey, what is going on, everyone? Scarfist here, and we are back with some more Freeman Guerrilla Warfare. Now only one hour and 40 minutes away from full release. But uh, last time, we got the black armor, best armor in the game, in terms of value protect of protection, and we defended Mern. We did take a couple of losses, though, and I've come to the conclusion that Cheetah Squad really... Uh, Cheetah Squad is not good anymore, guys. Like, it's, uh, it's, it's slacking. They are not... They're not doing what is expected of them. I thought they would be great. I thought they would, you know, pull their fucking weight. And they're not really doing that. And it's a little bit disappointing to see, especially after so much we have invested in them, right? Just something that you really don't want to see happening. You really want them to succeed. But either way, we're going to find a way to make it work. And how we're going to do that? Very simple. We are going to make Olga the leader of this squad, and she is going to lead it to glory or death. You know, one of the two. Now, you're level 15, so you get to keep your heavy Kevlar helmet, but um, we have to definitely buy better armors for some of these people because I really feel like the helmet is, be, is a huge detriment, right? Pretty much everyone, or all of them, I should say, have med kits, but they don't have, like, I just don't think they have enough time to pop them because they're just getting killed instantly, right? So, Wow, you've managed... Okay, I'm. this is my bad. You should be given an AK-12 because of that. I have not given you proper equipment. So you... And I know for a fact, guys, that this shit is reusable. So, yeah. Alright, Wolf. You already know my answer to Wolf, guys. These guys will probably never see much combat until... Uh, honestly, they probably just won't see combat until they're level 15 straight up. I don't think they're worth it at all. I mean, if you look at their site, right? They are, in theory better than your cheetahs but the camouflage and i do not feel like re-outfitting these guys i'm just gonna make them the best armor value that they, i can so i've given away that uh i really want more health kits i'm gonna i'm sorry i keep clicking but i gotta make sure i buy everything that i can before i move on now some of you are wondering why i'm holding on to all these cossack rebel helmets it's very easy why only people now was a voice crack only people that reach level 15 or companions are permitted to have one of these helmets. They are too fucking rare to give away easily. That, that That's just the bottom line. I cannot be handing this out like charity. Like, that's a big fucking no. So, yeah. Let's do a couple bit, like, yeah, a little bit more selling. Uh, let's get rid of this. And we'll get rid of this. And this. And this. Because there's really no reason to keep them on. Excellent. That's going to help with money a lot. And, guys, wages are going to be 50k pretty much. So, we have to find a way to somehow off-balance that. Do not tell me you're going to try to attack, because if you do, we're just going to kill you, and that's what we're going to do. Maybe a little bit of a warm-up for this episode. Now, we do have to get a defense squad in here. That is incredibly crucial. I did say I was going to put Cheetah in here. However, I feel like I could hire a couple of schmucks, and they would get the job done just fine. So, pop health kit first, and then uh, slowly and silently find the rest of these guys. We are running one grenade in our build right now, because we have been leveling up our throwing skill. I definitely want to see how effective it can be. Because they are, when assaulting bases or even cities, you know, a lot of the AI is going to clump up in a certain spawn region or they're going to funnel. And if we can get a good grenade on them, it's going to make our life so much easier. I feel like I didn't switch armor or, or, or camouflage. I feel like I didn't do that. But these are looters, so I think I can be a little bit more... Yeah, I can be a little bit more... You like my mustache? Listen, man, this shit's going to get shaved. I'm shaving this shit tomorrow because... Yeah, uh, if I, oh, it's only been like a week, I think. But then again, facial hair grows quickly, so yeah. I don't know. Some people say they like it. Most people don't, though. Most people prefer clean shaven for me. I mean, that's the kind of feedback I've gotten so far. But thank you, man. I... It's nice to know someone appreciates it. <laughs> Why not grow? I've tried to grow it out in the past, uh, NBA, but what ends up happening is it just gets fucking thicker. Like, it doesn't grow out, like, uh, nothing grows out on the sides or anything. It just becomes so thick that it's, uh, it just becomes, like, super uncomfortable. Like, I can actually feel the, the thickness of it all. And it's just, yeah. Wow, this guy's underneath a dead body. Me, okay. I mean, I could try for November, but that's like a month away, guys. Right? So yeah. Fifty XP. I remember how. The, I remember back. Oh man, multiple streams ago, like a week ago. This is the only group of guys we could fight. This is the only group. Get this out of the way. 
switch to single fire. It's going to make it a lot easier. Okay, that's a bit of a choke. Okay. Okay. I leaned a little bit too much there, but that's because these guys are shit. And so is my aim right now, apparently. Okay, I, I don't want to reload. So, pistol? Yeah. Always finish them off with pistol just to rub the BM in. Alright, where the fuck are you? Come on. I killed all your friends. I know you want revenge. Let's do this. Mono y mano. Oh, this guy is scared. He's running. Have you thought of it? I have, but like, I don't think I have the. F I don't know. It's just not. Like, I've tried multiple times. It just doesn't work out. The, what ends up happening when I try growing facial hair is this just ends up becoming just puffy, thick as hell. Nothing on the side ever grows. Something on the bottom does, but like, nothing on the side. I think it's just going to come down to aging. Like, the, more, the older I get, the more likely it will be it will happen right it is to happen i should say all right two of these masks crucial this we can sell off all right more people to execute to convince oksana to join us in fact that's what we're gonna do we're gonna execute the raiders because they're really not worth anything at the end of the day neither are the pirates too but these guys are definitely worth nothing so hopefully that has convinced you guys to cooperate uh oh wow we got to torture this lady don't we Okay, let's see how much the pirate leaders cost. Or they'll fetch. I should. Oh my god, I keep clicking the wrong thing. Pirate leaders will fetch 15k. You know what? We'll do that. Uh, pirates themselves. Alright, here's, here's, here's my thinking, guys. We kill two pirates, we spare one, and then that's going to be enough to uh, convince them to come over. If you shave the mustache, how much younger will you look? Uh, you see, here's the thing. I actually. People have said that I look like three, five, three to five years younger if I shave this shit off. I mean, how old do you guys think I am? right now with this on not that it even makes any much any other difference right but how old do you guys think i am because i want to see if this is like a legit thing if shaving it off is going to make me look younger or whatever really oksana all right we'll just hire you real i can't get you guys unless i fucking are you fucking serious Plunder five villages for Finn. Own Zoria for this clown. Uh, you want to destroy the Uma at 26. You think at 25. <laughs> oh man, what if I told you guys? What if I told you guys I was 21? I'm not lying when I tell you that too. I'm not lying. I'm actually 21. But so yeah, so people say like three, four, five years like younger when I shave this shit off, right? I mean, even without it, I, people still think I look old as shit, right? Or older. And I guess that's helped in the past, but like, yeah, you can see a significant gap when people when people guess. No, dude, I'm being serious. I'm being one, dude. I'm being. You, you want me to show you fucking ID? I show you the oh god! <laughs> I show it to you. No, dude, I show this. I show it to you, dude. I show it to you. Oh man, wait, what? I don't want to show my student ID because I feel like ah, fuck it. I'll show student ID. Oh wait, my student ID doesn't have it. Okay, all right. Let's take a. Let me show you guys right here. You guys don't believe this shit? Oh god, I gotta cover this number up. What does this say? What does this say to you? 1998 Oh god, this is such atrocious 1998 that's what it says literally 1998. Oh god, this is actually such terrible quality, but yeah, no, I'm 21 years old guys <laughs> 21 years old How? Uh, well, what do you mean how like <laughs> I was born in 1998 <laughs> you gotta be more specific how right like wait you guys thought I was a mature student all this time oh my god <laughs> wait if that's what you think I mean uh, to be fair many people think that so I guess I shouldn't really right yeah all right he wants to plunder five can't read it but I'll take your word yeah no the it, the text is way too fucking small I, I, this fucking I don't know man this camera just cannot focus on something but yeah but you saw the picture so you know for a fact that's me although I was fucked up when I took this a couple years back but yeah all right so do we plunder this shit uh, I feel really bad for plundering fuck me dude nah we'll we'll hold off on it we'll hold off on it all right we gotta 
what are we doing now? Uh, okay, we didn't. We we have good camouflage on, so I really feel like now is the time to try to finish any of these quests. But at the same time, it's causing yeah, this is causing a lot of problems. Like we have to. Ooh, actually, no. What am I thinking? I completely forgot. We gotta go for Aber. How do you look twenty six or twenty one? Not to be. Hey, no, it's fine, man. I get it. It's it's normal. It's not it's not rude at all. Uh, it's it's this. It's definitely this. I feel like if I shave this, and like. I'm pretty sure you guys saw me clean shave in that first stream. I mean, actually, no, you guys weren't there for the very first stream. You guys, like, I'm pretty sure you guys came on the second or third stream when it started to spread up. But when I was wearing that black top, right? That black, like, I don't want to call it a dress shirt, but a black vest dress shirt or whatever. Like, just look at the first couple of episodes of Freeman on the YouTube. I, I think I look closer to 21, but it's definitely this. It's definitely this. All right. So, Aber is 75. Uh, I feel like, you know what? We got to... I'm gonna extort. Uh, actually, no. We're gonna kill all these. I want to get these re the reinforcements done. If I can get the reinforcements killed off, it makes a lot, make my life a lot easier. Because the last thing I need is another Mern situation where I YOLO and like take losses. Granted, I'm gonna take losses no matter what. This is not something I can avoid. I'm just gonna have to be better prepared for it. A senior college student. <laughs> well, technically speaking, I am in my senior year right now, so you're not wrong at that. But yeah. Right, I'm in, I am in my fourth year, so there is that. So, yeah. All right. Uh, ooh, can we let, let's land this shot. Bingo. Right here. One, two, three. Easy fucking peasy, boys. And look, they're scared because they don't know what hit them. Oh, wow. You got protected by a tree. What? There it is. Much better. Holy shit. The bullet drop really came down on me that time. Alright, it's just reinforcements too, so I don't know why I'm this concerned. The real fight's gonna lie after we deal with these uh, smaller groups of units. Yeah, VFA got buffed. The freaking devs putting in that special police has made them competitive. Like, you slap a grenade launcher onto the special police forces, my god, you're gonna have something that can compete with the FCA Grenadiers. No joke. Now, it's better if we attack nighttime, because uh, that way we're gonna be able to make use of our black armor but at the, but here's the thing guys us waiting so long might also be a little bit detrimental because i don't want too much shit to go on in the game world right i really don't i want to be able to capitalize are you happy with four years of college uh yeah i'm pretty happy with how it's gone so far like the last i've been a, i'm a lot happier with the last two than i have been with the first two but yeah you know as i think that's how it's supposed to be with every person you get progressively more happy as you get used to this life or being an adult or whatever right because when you come in, it's all exciting. You're an adult for the first time, but then you get hit with like actual responsibilities, and then you eventually you adjust to it. All right, where the fuck is this guy? I swear to God, he just this 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 person has decided to like try to evade me for like ages now. Like what the fuck? Like, what are your call? What? Oh my college! Oh man. So, uh, the regrets I have, so I mean, hopefully these are the only regrets I'll have, but hey, you got another year to go, right? My regrets so far, as I look for this one little fucker, um, I think I, I think I partied a little too hard in my first year. I think, um, uh, first and second year, I think I just, pointless drinking. That, that's what I really regret, you know, pointless drinking. Um, yeah, that's the big one. And not realizing that, uh, and actually not streaming sooner. Those are my two regrets. Because, you know, I, I think I've told this story, but, like, I think I've known for a while now that I wanted to do streaming. I just, you know, I got this PC, to, like, in my second year, and I just never fully made use of it. I didn't even start doing the YouTube until last year. Like, I had it for a whole year, and I was just kind of lazing, being lazy around. Like, where the fuck is this person? Holy shit. But, yeah, I was just lazy as hell. And, uh, you know, it finally took, it took a year and a summer to finally, like, get my ass into shape and honestly i probably should have done streaming a little bit sooner but yeah what's wrong with drinking if you're having fun well here's the thing i was having fun but that fun only lasted for like um when i say pointless it's like a lot of the time it was like i thought i was having fun but when i look back now i really wasn't having fun like it's just i thought that was the what everyone kind of did and it's just like yeah all right I guess this is what's fun now. Like, I'm not exactly having fun, but at the same time, it's not like I'm being miserable, right? And I have nothing better to do, or I want to fit in, so I'm going to, like, you know, try to make this fun. And that's that, that, that's what really happened with me uh, for, the, for the most part. 
Okay, it looks like, boys, we're going to have to run the timer on this. I have no freaking clue. I've literally run my ass around this area, and this one person is being an asshole. So, yeah, we have time to answer the Q&A, though. <laughs> but, yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. You did binge drinking? Uh, I think for a brief... There was... I'll say this. There was a brief... Like, there was the first, um, the first semester for a good... Like, ha halfway through the first semester, I think there was this one, there were, like, there was a three-week period where, like, every Thursday to Sunday, like, my dorm mates and I would just go hard as shit. Like, we'd just go hard. Uh, what types of drinks? Uh, we were mixing hard liquor, man. Like, this, we weren't chasing properly, and if we were, it was, it was like, it was pretty shit overall. Like, oh, we, we thought our bodies were invincible back then, right? At least that's what I, I thought, right? And then um, we, we paid the price. We learned our lesson the hard way. But yeah, we were, oh, I'm talking, and we were broke-ass college students too. So, you know, you're going to get what broke-ass college students normally get. Uh, Smirnoff, any, any, vo the cheapest vodka, basically, right? You didn't even bother going for wine. Oh, there you are. There you are. Anyway, yeah, you didn't even bother going for the... What was it? You didn't bother going for wine because wine was so shit. Like you'd only you'd only go for good wine. Like shit wine was the worst than a puke up, guys. They like, oh man, I remember I had an experience with shit wine. I think it was the first. It was like my second time I drank ever, right? Because I was I didn't do much. In, I didn't do anything in high school. I, I saved all this shit for uni, right? Because yeah, I I kind of had like a little bit of controlling parents, but in hindsight, I'm kind of glad they uh, limited me in that regard. Because if I had started drinking in high school, oh, god damn, that would have been a mess. All right, so there's 82 prisoners here. I don't think we're going to aggro anything if we attack this. Uh, thoughts on White White Claw? I think White Claw is kind of like a... I have not, I have not tried White Claw. But from what people tell me, White Claw is kind of the... Is kind of replaced the... Uh, please tell me... I think you mean you. Yeah, please tell me. I Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I was, but I was... It was like... Okay, let me explain. Let me explain let me explain how like what i'm like how it went all right we're gonna attack the city first and um lay siege but yeah uh i was i was but it wasn't like how do i put this it it wasn't like i was going to like a frat or anything i was just with my dorm mates right and we'd all party together and then you know because the legal drinking age up here is 19 so what would happen is before the like half before december of the first semester we all relied on frats for the first week and then after that we realized it was basically a sausage fest because up here greek life is like poo poo like it's not fucking good it's just it's just a, it's it's terrible straight up uh, you got watered down beer like fucking ratios matter and shit like uh, it, it was awful like you learned your lesson really quickly not to go back to those places and um yeah the ratios were terrible right but after i'll say this after most people turned 19 it got a lot more fun but was I like, was I was I in the club fucking grinding on people? Hell no, nah, man. We didn't even get, clubs weren't even an option until the second year. And by then, a lot of people had like drank their, you know, gotten out of the phase. Like I really think for a lot of people, that initial party thing was just a phase. I really think it was. Uh, let's get this in here. Let's get this in here. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. Nah, dude, but like, yeah, I was not part, it wasn't just a pure sausage fish, if that's what you're worried about, trust me, we, uh, that's kind of like a given, like you, yeah, no, 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 that would have been, that would have been fucking, uh, <laughs> that would have been interesting, I'll just say, it, it would have been interesting, but it wouldn't exactly have been the best time of your life, right? Because obviously you gotta balance this shit out. Alright, so I'm here in VAL with the sharpshooter again, uh, I don't want to move these guys too forward, do I really want to maintain my distance? Dots on Western? <laughs> I have actually a, You Have you guys... You, I don't know if you guys seen the video or heard this... Hang on, hang on. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen or heard the... Uh, seen or heard the story... I had a video about this, but Western is like a massive party school. And my second year, James and I... And I think I've spoken about James many times, but he's kind of like my go-to boy. If I ever want to like go out and party and stuff, he's like my go-to, right? He and I want to go to Western's uh, formal homecoming or whatever you want to call it. They call it FOCO. I, don't, I still don't know what it stands for. All I know is Western homecoming. Did you watch? No, oh my god. Now like, nah. Nah. I was... Uh, oh man, I don't even... <laughs> Nah, they, I want to say there were opportunities. I just didn't take them, man. I just didn't take them. In hindsight, I wasn't really interested in that stuff as well. I was kind of just like, let's see how this life really is. And then, uh, yeah. 
But back on Western. Western was really fun, but we tried to go to Western Homecoming, and long story short, we failed miserably. Uh, yeah. Okay. Redo this. I was not focused that time. Uh, we lost five reputation. I really don't give a shit about that, right? But they're all spawning that direction, which means that... Okay, our shock troopers are fucked too. Do I just want to solo this? No, I can't even try. Okay. Fuck, we're going to be forced to put in these guys. Jesus, Murphy. All right, actually, we, we might have to put in everyone. Yeah, we have to put in Wolf. This actually pissed me off a little bit. All right, they can't move then. Jesus, Murphy. All right, pop this. All right, we're going to get the level up really quickly. Uh, okay, this is going to go into the agility. Because if I did it into leadership, uh, it would help us in recruitment squads, but I couldn't drop anything. Did I do any drugs? No, nah, I mean, alcohol is a drug, but like hard drugs? No, nah, I stayed away from that. I was, I, I was still a good boy to a certain extent. Like, I was still a good boy. <laughs> but not, not, not that there's anything wrong, but like, you know, the stereotypical good boy. Did you go to prom or homecoming? Yeah, I went to prom. Uh, for high school, at least. Homecoming? Uh, I don't think our high school had a homecoming. Actually, no, it did. But our graduating class was like 66 people. I'm not even joking. It was a tiny-ass graduating class. So really, homecoming didn't mean shit. Like, you basically went to one of those events, and then that was uh, that was it. it. It wasn't anything special. Everyone kind of knew each other too much and wanted to get the fuck out of our high school. I mean, our grade was pretty degenerate, now that I think about it. But, yeah. We we didn't really like um we were just kind of like prom and then get out and the thing was no one actually stayed for and everyone went to prom to take the pictures and like exchange formalities the real fun was the after party right I'm pretty sure everyone it's the same thing with everyone but the real fun happened at the after party um I don't remember if I went to the after party probably not I don't think I think I was invited but I think I like I think I just turned it down because. Yeah, no, I didn't go to the after party. I was just like, nah. I, I wasn't feeling it. I don't know why. I just was not feeling it. How to summarize my college life? Well, so far, I think it's been, like, it's been good. Like, if I use one word, it'd be, it's been good. Like, I've been pretty fortunate so far in terms of, um, I don't want to say fortunate, but I've managed, I've managed my time pretty well. And, um, yeah, grades are looking good. And I'm doing what I like, right? I've, I've, I've had a lot of fun. Probably a little bit more than most people should or are able to have. And it hasn't come to at much of a cost too. So that's, uh, yeah, that's really good for me. All right, why are you guys positioned like that? That's really atrocious. Do you still, do I still party? Barely nowadays, like barely. Th those, those days are kind of behind me. Um, I don't know. Because for me, I think like, I think it's good if it's like every once in a while. Like if you're celebrating something, I think it, it makes sense. But if you're if you're like going out every and I know people we still do this, right? Everyone does. But if you're going out every Friday and like just like chugging white claws or whatever, or like you know doing shots, I, I think that shit gets repetitive and like it's just um yeah. What are some of the harsh truths I've learned? Okay, so the big, uh, I don't even know if this is the harsh truth that I learned. I learned this in high school, basically, or I, I kind of figured this out myself uh, by observing. But uh, you're not, like, going into college, you might think you're hot shit, but really you're not. Never, like, you're not hot shit. Um, it, especially if you go to someone that's, repu uh, uh, you know, a college or university that's reputable. You know, be humble, don't be too overconfident, because shit's going to smack you down real hard. And be... You can't wing shit anymore. Like, um, granted, I never did wing stuff, but like, you gotta plan shit out. Like, winging is very, very detrimental. Like, especially if you didn't take advanced courses in high school, a lot of people tend to not be prepared for the workload and the intensity and the difficulty that um, college assignments or university assignments like uh, impose upon you. You you're like you can't you can't just be like, yeah, I'm not gonna do this. I'll do it tomorrow. What do you do at a college party? You see, that was the big. That was also one of the reasons why um, I stopped very like after my first year at a college party because it's not the same here as it is in the states. In the states, your fraternity life is actually worth going to. Like, there's actually some fun interaction to be had. Here, guys, here's what happens. And and basically, ninety percent of the frats in Canada. If you and, and say and save your money, save your time. If you right. Were you social? I was pretty social, but like, here's here's what happens. You go there, it's this absolute sausage fest. 
it's sweaty, the floor is sticky, the beer is watered down, assuming you haven't pre-gamed, right? And obviously now you always want to pre-game, but most people don't know when they're coming in to pre-game. They just think the frat is the place to go. No, fucking pre-game. Pre-game and then what you'll do is there's going to be a shitty dance floor. There's going to be like two beer pong tables, right? And on the dance floor, what's going to happen is you got a bunch of orbiters around maybe like, like there's like four orbiters around one girl. Right, four. I, I this is. I'm not even making this shit up. Four orbiters of one one girl, and they're they're all like too shy or they're all too fucking creepy. Right, like one of them will just like grab her and then she'll have like a friend that like pushes him away or says no, and he's gonna be like, there's two responses he's gonna demonstrate. He's gonna be like, okay, whatever, or he's gonna get salty or he's gonna be embarrassed. Right. You're not gonna score if you if you if you're looking to like if you're looking to score do not do it at France That's all I'm saying like that shit up here. No, absolutely. No, like it <laughs> No, 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 no. It is a terrible idea I, I knew some people tried every single time, you know tonight's the night man tonight's the night I'm like no, it's not dude Let's be real here unless you um, like most of the guys like especially in your first year most of the guys don't take care of themselves to a certain extent like they come in they still got the fucking acne they still got the fucking you know they're still kind of lanky to a certain extent or if they are jacked they just can't hold the social like a conversation for like anything so yeah mo like it, it, uh frats are not the place i mean obviously there's an exception there's the one guy that's like stands above everyone else and good for him right like he he's in prime time position but yeah is the party scene worth staying in college for? No. Um, I mean, I don't know about the states, but up here, especially for the college I go to, like, for the college I go to, and I have this theory that I've developed, right? It's basically, you get to party for a total of one month, your entire semester here. One month, that's it. Okay, let's take a look here. Holy shit. That's, he's dead. She's dead, I should say. Alright, them moving up is going to cause a lot of fire. Okay. What did you learn from college parties? Well, I learned that you always got a pregame. And two, uh... Some, a, a lot of pe people are fucking creepy and... Like, they can't... S I learned a lot of people are w more socially inept than you think. Like, if you ever feel like you're bad at social skills, just remember, there's probably someone worse than you. I also learned some, like, implicit behaviors. College and high school? Well, I couldn't really tell you the difference because I never attended my high school parties. Right? I was always kind of like... But I I'll just say this. In college, people are a little bit more like, Oh, I want to try... They're more willing to try shit out. Because, especially the f when you're, like, just entering. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. Oh, man, this is gonna be brutal, but yeah. But yeah, people are willing to try shit out. Like, they're more... I don't know. They they feel like they're more willing to spend. They're more willing to, like, walk the distance to it. Like, it's just people are excited. Initially. Then they learn... Then they learn how the, like, uh, the meta works. And they're just like, no, fuck this. Good kill. But yeah, that's the main difference. In high school, you're like, um, I want to say in high school, you feel a little bit more like conservative a little bit just because you still got your friends there, but nobody's judging you in college so much. Should you party in college? Uh, what, what school do you go to in the States? Okay, that's actually close. Engage without me? Holy shit. Holy shit. What a fuck! Oh my god, we lost so many people. That was tra I actually think can't believe we won that. I was not paying attention to that fight. Uh, oh no no wood wood. We need the wood. We need the wood. That's actually crucial for us. I just got capped out. Anyway, what are your thoughts on white? Oh, okay, so back to the white claws. I think white claws are the equivalent of uh kind of your new like popular normie drink. Arizona State. I think that might you might be worth like checking it out. I think it might be worth like taking a look there. Um especially a really you really gotta like kind of get a feeler right okay so we lost how many cheetahs okay you're fine how's this okay so only one die that's very impressive uh scuff squad is fucked you guys survived that's the bottom line you guys yikes but the good news is we got someone to swap in congratulations you have made it onto the team wow the wolf survived damn okay so squad lead is okay so most of the guys actually survived this fight i'm actually very impressed so Arizona State, um, I think it might be worth it.
how did I make friends? Okay, so my main, the only reason, like, um, it was mainly through the dorm system. Like, I'm, this is one of my, I'm really glad that I decided to live on residence the first year. Because that allowed me to, like, you know, get to know a lot of people. And, oh my god, now it's, it's okay. I thought we were gonna be fucked. But look at the prisoners, guys. Look at this. Oh my, this is beautiful. All this for defending. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We gotta convert them now. Straight up. We also gotta sell a couple people too. Actually, can we get the pirates on our side? Hang on a second, guys. But yeah, mainly through the, I mainly made most of my friends through the dorm system, dude. It was just, it, yeah. Living like right next to each other really, really, really helps. Um, it really does. Okay, so defense, we're going to have to get a defense squad. This is going to be Aber 1. Oh. I don't know what's happening today, boys. I'm not as strong with my shots. or uh, Sorry about that, but I guess a lot of it has to do with the chat, but I'm going to get better. We're going to make sure we don't fuck up again. I promise you that. Okay, so what's going on here? Can you guys get a weapon or anything? Yes, we're going to give you guys shitty weapons, because that's what you are, kind of shit. Okay, you're going to... Okay, I don't know why you have this. We're going to give you this. And we're going to give you... Okay, you can't have that. You'll have this i think they are i think I, I think white claws are a little bit overrated it's just too mainstream now i think uh like if you want to get personally my my choice of drink back when i you know frequented the bars or whatever was a jack and coke right that was my that was always my go-to right always now whether or not uh that was a good choice i felt like it was a stable choice it's too fucking hot here yeah, I mean, what's your intention about partying? Do you want to make friends? Do you just want to socialize? Do you want to have fun? Like, you gotta... It, it comes down to what your uh, your intention is. Okay, so let's get this... Uh, like, what are you looking to get out of it? Right? It, that, 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 that's what it really boils down to. Because for... Oh my god, there's actually a hospital here. Oh my god, that is actually insane. Treatment, treatment, treatment. Yes! Wow. Okay, that's that's something new. I had never I've never seen that before in the game. <laughs> Bravo game. Bra, bra fucking vote. That's actually incredibly impressive. I did not think that that was possible. But the fact of the matter is we can now immediately heal. Wow. Okay, we're going to put this guy in finally. All right, so we're going to take your helmet off and we're going to give you another shitty weapon. All right, congratulations. Now whoever who wants this helmet between you guys or who doesn't have a helmet and needs one? I'm actually surprised Cheetah has survived this long, uh, but then again, it's kind of to be expected. All right, so let's get rid of this for you. Yeah, you gotta get. Let's get you a mask instead. All right, Scuff Squad is looking good. You guys looking good? Honestly, yeah. I want you want to socialize with people who share the same interests as you. All right, um, that's fair. So, I I really what year in uni are you too? Because that that kind of plays a role. Because of people, I know the normal generic response is going to be join the clubs, join the clubs. Like look, look, that's really a hit or miss. Like clubs are helpful, but it's those tend to be really hit or miss. To meet people, they are, but you have to understand that. Like you, you, you have to kind of know what parties to go to, right? You don't want to be like the last thing you want to do is go into a party expecting one thing and like. Be disappointed because you didn't properly scout the venue, right? First year? Oh, damn. Yeah, now, yeah, then, dude, you, you want to go then. You don't want to miss out. You at, at least go to a few. Everyone is shy in the first year, or if they're not, they're, they're a little bit like, they're trying to feel each other out, right? Like, people, people don't know. Every, like no one has the answer to anything first years like everyone's more receptive, right? If you want to socialize with people, it's going to be a lot easier in your first year then it especially to make friends because your friend circles tend to get established a lot of the time as the years go by right so it gets harder and harder to like break into these friendship circles not saying that it's impossible it's just an ideal time would be earlier on in the year right okay so this guy okay so we've there are two here. I feel like we can hold them off right now. I really do. All right, so we have massive prisoners. Okay, so Zalaniv is next. Actually, no. We we need we need to wipe out Gorinka and Chernivka. 
but I kind of need a boost in troops. I'm going to head back to the mercenary camp and see if I can't get a massive collection. Hey, what's going on, Happy? What's going on, Happy? We're just talking about parties in college on this Friday night because, uh, yeah, it's uh, somehow I went to that topic. And uh, actually, no, it went to that topic because people tried to guess my age and wouldn't believe it when I told them my real age. Don't they do? But I mean, n never, never feel pressured to like do something you don't. Right? Never, never. Like I'll tell you right now, I have not smoked marijuana at all. I haven't done any form of drug except alcohol. Right? And I'm in my fourth year of uni, and I'm in a country that weed is fucking legal. So every day I walk, I smell the fucking grass. Right? They do, but like, but back to your question. They do, but at the same time, there are a lot of individuals that won't. It's just, you know, yeah. It comes down to the kind of group you associate with. All right, so it's officially nighttime, and look at this, boys. This finally means it is now time for the best pieces of gear to be assigned to us. Let's get this over here. All right, we're no longer going to roll with the grenade. We have to go back to a more standard build, a uh, helmet, and finally, finally, guys, finally, it is now time. Wait, do I have my thing? Night vision? Uh, Where is my black armor, boys? Black armor, let's fucking go. Let's get this shirt on. And we now have the strongest, strongest setup going in the game. 46 camouflage, absolutely stud rating in terms of uh, armor production. What's a, uh, what should every student do during their college years? Um, I really think you should go to at least one party, at least one. Try, try a little bit of everything. Right, like you know, I mean, don't you don't have to join the clubs, but at least go to one public social gathering. Adderall is a good choice. Um, Adderall, I mean, people don't. I don't think people take Adderall to party. People take Adderall to study, right? Um, if you're talking about partying, then we then we step into the realm of cocaine, right? And weed. Again with this shit. Does a drink every day mean you are an alcoholic? I mean, not necessarily. Like, if it's wine, like, a, you know, red wine is good for you every day. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, my God. Okay, hang on, guys. I gotta go to Zinkov. This shit is about to tear itself up if I don't get it. That and I have to collect the fucking rents, too. I I, I don't think, like, if it's, a, like, a small glass, like, a half a glass of wine every day, I don't think that's necessarily, ba necessarily bad. But, if, I mean, if you're downing, like, a six of vodka or whatever... Right, I think that's pretty bad. Like, you shouldn't have to... Like, you never want to become reliant on something completely. Right? You never want to. Like, I... I uh, because what at the end of the day, it is poison to your body. Right? Granted, you can take a lot of it, but that doesn't mean, like, you should just go ham. What's the more in, most important skills to have in college life? Uh, adaptability. You're, you have to be able to adapt. Um, right? So if something's not working when it comes to studying, you have to, like, you know, if that means changing up your study habits, do so. What is the best college major to have? Uh, I would say if you're looking to do something straight out of undergrad, probably a mathematics degree or any, anything anything extremely like hands-on technical. What's my type? Wait. <laughs> um, I don't even know. I I I couldn't give a, I can give you a like a direct answer on that right now. Oh man, guys, when I'm up when I upload this shit onto YouTube. Oh Jesus, I mean this is good. This is interaction, but yeah, a lot of downtime. All right, let's get this over here. Jesus Christ, two massive fucking buildings damage repair. These fuckers aren't content. I literally have okay here here the looters are gonna kill more of these guys. Would you date a girl that doesn't shit? <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess it depends how bad, or like the extent. You, you don't really know until you you're in that situation. Like, how would I know, right? We'd have to be, we'd have to get down to business, and then I'd have to like see for myself. I couldn't tell you now. Like, I I actually could not give you a proper answer now. Like, it's just. <laughs> Okay, oh wow, she actually joined in 54. That's very impressive. Very impressive indeed. Okay, we gotta reform these squads. I'm actually, yeah. Okay, let's get let's get you here. Let's get you here. Alright, VALs. Since you guys are actually better than I expected. Um, yeah, oh my god. You have one point. Okay, we might have to get these ladies back into the army. 
Holy shit, I didn't think they were this decent at fighting. God damn. Okay, we gotta collect. We collected the rents. Uh, what's going on in the storage? Okay, food. What about armory? Nothing in the armory. I'm glad we didn't give out any of our uh, good helmets. If you saw a girl with a kid face but with hairy legs, would you still date? Uh, um, how? How much? You got. You gotta let me know how much. Yeah, you gotta give me like how, like, like how much, right? Like I, I like I, I, if there's like some, I wouldn't mind. But like if it's as hairy as like somebody's chest, then we might have like, we might have a discussion about yo. Listen, you probably I don't want to be itchy. Get that shit off, right? Like, I don't know. I'd like to think I'm fairly open minded with these things. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't mean I don't have limits, right? Like obviously, but. I feel like I'm pretty open-minded with this kind of stuff. All right, so uh, let's sell this and then let's sell this. All right. Okay, okay, okay. We now what we have to do is I'm pretty sure this area is well defended. Uh, we're gonna let that Abertax sit there for now. I ha oh, please mercenary camps refresh. I'm begging you that you can't see from five. Feet yeah, no, that that's gotta no no that that's gone. That's fucking gone immediately. Nah, she's gotta get that shit gone or we we are out. Harry, uh, oh, that's fine. I mean, as long as like, I feel like, I, I feel like I'd be, if legs and armpit, like armpits, you, you rarely are gonna see the armpit a lot of the time, right? Like, yeah. I mean, guys, these days, let's be honest. Most of them do shave. So it's not like, like, I really don't think, I mean, unless you got like a specific kink or whatever, or a specific type, most of them probably do. Like, it's just, let's be real here, like, uh, societal pressures, whatever the fuck you want to call it, it's just, yeah, most of them do these days. I don't really think I'm going to run into that problem. I don't know about you guys, but I don't see myself running into that problem. All right, what's going on with food? Are we out? No, we're not. All right. Let's uh let's focus back up for a second. Okay, we started recording at 7:20. Oh my god, we're almost yeah we're at the time I think. All right, let's get these guys back into the squad. Make sure we reform them. Uh, what's going on with Grenadiers? All right, you guys are still good. That's really what I care about right now. Let's get you this. Actually, no, you deserve this because you're superior. All right. I really want to attack Chernivka. Like I think it's time to like yeah let, it's time to, it's time to go and hopefully we get them at nighttime. I mean that would be ideal. What is the college life when you live on campus? Uh, a lot more interactive because since everyone, since since everyone is so close to each other, it's like you can it's you can be very spontaneous in your decisions. Like for example, I remember for uh, for me in my first year when I was on like um, when I was living on res, there'd be moments where yo, Scar, let's go to McDonald's. It's three a.m. Boom, go. Yo, let's get pizza. Boom, like, it's that kind of stuff, right? Like, yo, let's go to this, or, you know what? Let's fucking game all night, all right? I remember, I had, I had multiple, multiple, like, I can count on both, I can't even count on both hands how many times I had those spontaneous moments happen when living on res. But that also requires you to, like, make sure you're tight with your dorm, right? And I want to say I got a little bit lucky in my placement because a lot of them were like-minded individuals. How do you approach a college girl on campus? Okay, this is not so... Uh, I actually cannot tell you exactly how to do this. Maybe someone... Uh, because I'm going to be honest with you guys. I didn't do any of that shit. Um, right? Why did you leave resident housing? Oh, because uh, there's rules, right? You got your RA. There's rules. There's like curfews. There's shared internet, right? Like and bathrooms, cleanliness. Like a lot of people are unhygienic. Just at the end of the day... And the fact that everyone else was leaving, right? But yeah, at the end of the day, it just wasn't worth it. Uh, okay, I'm going to pay him a bribe. Okay, that's only 200 Zalti. Let's see if there's anything here before. Okay, I'm going to buy all your medkits. And then I'm going to sell you guys a premium. And then, yeah. All right. Do I have any grenades that I want to give out, though? Yes, I do. As well as arm. Oh, bingo. Big helmets. I need these on my top tier troops right now. How do you pay rent if you don't work? Oh, no. I, I Here's the thing. I had, like, initially... Right, I initially did work, but rent, parents, mainly parents, they help me out with rent. Everything else, I just kind of save money and shit. I also have, like, a college fund that they set up for me, uh, like, back in 2000. So I've just been, like, very careful with money like that, right? I've also done some, like, minor, like, very minor with that investment, like, with the help of my friends.
like who knows his shit like he, he knows his shit so he's helped me like every once in a while with investments and shit so yeah basically that okay what was i doing again right did shink out grenades for these fuckers do you have a grenade you have a grenade okay damn all the individuals that have grenades are fucking oh my goodness all right you should be squad leaving because you actually have a launcher uh you have a helmet okay helmet with you helmet with you all right so i'm i'm gearing these guys out properly i really want to give the cossack rebels a proper gear out though especially since i feel like they're kind of being left behind okay you're gonna get one of these yeah you guys need a proper proper like gear do you think it's worth it for an apartment depends on how far and close you want to be to school in general i think um I think living on campus can is worth it, but at the same time, it really comes down to the group of friends that you're like with and what you want and what you can like tolerate, right? Why did I choose to go into HR? Well, it's because um, for me, when I applied under like uh, my program, I was only given a set list of options. Like I couldn't, unless I wanted to do a bunch of other courses, right? So HR was the most profitable one or the most employable out of everything that was offered. That's basically the main answer. All right, let's lay siege to this. I know it's not day, it's not nighttime, guys, but we're going to win this easy peasy. Did I like it? No, but I, I assessed it from an, an objective standpoint. Realistically speaking, if I somehow don't end up going to grad school or if I just need, like, if that's my only degree, which one is going to be the most profitable that I am able to do? And HR was by far, like, the only one that actually made sense at the time. It still is the only one that makes sense. Like, yeah, uh, guys, I don't want to. I, I know we keep shitting on gender studies, but I actually had an option to get into that. I could have done gender studies, uh, fucking sexual diversity studies. Uh, I could have done cognitive science as well, but I didn't take psych my first year. So yeah, I didn't want to like. I didn't want to like do an extra year. And unaffordable. Yeah, that's kind of that. I agree. It's um, it's really bad for people in the states. I, I will not like. I'll not even complain. I, I'm lucky. I get domestic fees, guys. So like, and even then, it's kind of like, eh. But still, yeah, I'm fortunate. I, I'm very fortunate in terms of like, uh, in the position that I'm I'm in right now. But yeah, listen, man. Sometimes it ain't worth it. Sometimes trade school is the way to go. Like, I'm not I'm not I'm not joking. Trade school will give you something immediate. Like it will like it will put money in your pocket immediately, right? Because there's hands-on skills. Right, and who gives a fuck if other people look down at the jobs, right? They're valuable jobs. No, what jobs can you, you can be a pro with gender studies degree? Uh, easy, you can be a TA, a professor, or you can be a crazy cat lady with blue hair. That, th th those are your options. What was my worst ex- Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I gotta reach into my first year memories box to give you that one. Oh, no, no, I, re I well, did this happen? No, this didn't happen on college, but this is with people from college. Okay, this is my second year, and um, this actually happens directly after uh, James and I failed to go to Western Homecoming. So, oh my god, I, I probably should make a story video on this for the YouTube channel, but anyway. So, we decide to, we get back from Western Homecoming, right? And, like, we hear from our friends that we have, there's a Halloween party going on. And um, this is, like, the first ever party that that i that i ever attended off campus like this is the first time someone was actually throwing a party uh that was not in their dorm room right so this was kind of like a big deal in the sense that how is this gonna go you know oh my god that's so many i should have gotten a grenade how is this gonna go is it gonna pan out the way you expect it to so yeah i went to i w this is when i was working in retail too so my shift ended at 10 and uh <laughs> james is also involved in this story too but yeah james and i we what is it we ended up what was it? We, so we end up meeting at uh, at like my work when I get off my shift and we walk about 30 minutes to this party and I didn't know what the layout of this place at all but when I get there I, and I, I shouldn't have expected anything more because rent's so unaffordable these days right everywhere you go but when we get there guys it's literally a basement apartment I can barely stand up in it, it it's basically an actual dump like it's it's literally a dump um pretty right we get there and like the and we everyone's just like crowded up and everyone's drinking having a decent time granted the but for me i was like um what was it 
I drank way too fucking much that night, like way too much. I I don't even remember exactly what I was drinking, but it was some expensive shit that I brought for what from for Western Homecoming that I didn't get to drink, right? So I, I I'm pretty sure it was this like special Scottish whiskey or whatever, right? So I here I am just like down in Scottish whiskey, and like I don't think anything's too bad. It seems like good. It's forty percent, so I didn't think it was a bit like. Obviously, in hindsight, it was pretty heavy, but it wasn't hitting me. And, you know, I should have known at the time that just you wait, Scar. You're going to get smacked around. But I keep drinking, and then eventually I get peer pressured, or not even peer, like, away, like peer pressured or encouraged to drink more from this, like, whiskey bottle. Right? So I'm, I'm down on this shit, and eventually, and I remember everything from this, too. Eventually, it, 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 it wasn't good, guys. I, I could feel my throat starting to close up. Not in terms of like choking, but like I could feel the vomit start to come. And I was like, oh, this ain't good. This ain't good. Because I just had a pretty decent meal, albeit cheap, but decent at the food court at where I worked. I was like, no, do not come out. I remember I was wearing a draft mask too. I'm pretty sure there's a picture of me completely fucked over. But yeah, I was wearing a draft mask um, for like my costume that year, right? And here I am just like drinking away at this bottle. And oh. Eventually, I, I feel like I gotta, I, I, it's gotta come out, right? Like, I, I, I'm just like, I'm someone who's not gonna try to like hold the puke. If it's coming out, it's coming out. So I go to puke, guys. I don't, I, I'm so thankful. This is the one good part. I make it out of the apartment, the, the actual like apartment, the basement apartment, right? But like, I completely, the, the like, the dam broke. The, everything came out the moment I tried to walk up the stairs because it's basement, right? I'm walk, so it's just a trail of puke just like spilling from the stairs. And I'm just, I, I try to keep, I keep walking up and it still keeps falling down. It was just absolutely fucking awful. And that, the, that wasn't even the worst part. The worst part was after all, after I like sobered up or whatever, not even sobered up, but after I finished puking, the next, I got back at like two o'clock, right? I was hammered still. I woke up the next day, my throat was fucked. Like it was str like, oh man, I couldn't gurgle water for like over half a year. Like, I, I don't even know the proper term. Like people's like, I want to call it like a mild throat paralysis, basically. Mild throat paralysis. That's the best way I can describe the feeling I felt. It was that bad. It's like, and ever since like then, for like a, a year, I would always like, whenever I got a smell of something sour or whenever like liquid reached too far back into my throat without swallowing, I'd get that urge to kind of almost throw up again, like get a gag reflex. And yeah, that was the, that was the worst. That was, ab I didn't even finish the bottle too. That I, like I didn't even finish that. That shit was so fucking, oh man. It fucked me up. Did anyone make fun of me? Ah, I don't remember. I don't remember if they did. I wouldn't really give a shit if they did. They were just like, holy crap. He drank way too much. It was more like if they did, it quickly turned into more like shit. Let's get him out of here. Like, let's make sure he's safe and all, right? Shit. I, I'm not even in combat right now. I'm just chilling. All right, but yeah. What's my most ex- Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, hang on. I I'm gonna finish this battle and tell you because it's actually- I have to think about it carefully. I don't remember exactly- I have like a rough r like memory of the most embarrassing. Hang on, I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna win this and I'm gonna tell you guys, okay? I'm gonna win this and I'm gonna tell you because it's actually pretty long. And we're gonna finish the episode off and I can tell you during the break. Pop this. We might. Oh, it's 18 left. Okay, we can win this. I'll be at a cost. Holy shit! This car is literally cock blocking me. Okay, pop the med kit. But yeah, I'll answer your question when uh, I finish this for sure. All right, I gotta. Oh, nice. Good job. I got someone still useful. There he is. Woo! Good hit. Oh god. Boom! Let's get him. He has lots of experience. No, dude. Contrary to five, I've just, I've just, I just have a lot of memories about, about like wacky shit that I'm trying to like cipher through. Cause this, I don't even want to call this bad. I think this was just fucking. Um, 
This is just a fucking misunderstanding that turned into like something that it shouldn't have turned into. Like actually, like if I think about it, this one was a complete. This was the biggest misunderstanding I've ever had. But it's nice that you think it like that. Maybe one day I'll have a plethora of shit to tell you when it comes to experiences like that. But no, I was pretty reserved for the most part. I was pretty. I, I like to consider myself tame. That or it's a pathetic excuse for saying I was too much of a pussy to do anything. One of the two. Whatever. Well, I, I still can't decide to this day. Yeah, I mean, oi, that's, hey, that, it's nice to hear that, man, it's nice to hear that. Okay, let's get you. Wow, this is gonna be a big cost. Alright, guys, we almost finished this, so it's almost time for the stories. And I have so many of them, too. <laughs> but of, of just wacky shit that happened our first year. I, honestly, you know what I should do? I should get, like, Microsoft Paint to properly illustrate this shit. <laughs> that's actually what I should do. Okay, I see him, I see him, I'm just trying to... Okay. Okay. What the fuck is this last guy? Alright, we're gonna pop the medkit here and they're gonna finish him off with pistol. Yeah. For those of you on YouTube, uh, this this episode is definitely gonna be cut out. Well, not cut out, but like cut a bit. Like, obviously, there's gonna be sections that are gonna be cut unless you guys want to hear these, you know, stories, interactions. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about this form, because I know all of you or most of you just want the gameplay, but we are all live, and uh, I guess this is what the good the good part of the live interaction is, right? <laughs> anyway, where the fuck is this guy? I'm not gonna wait any longer, so I'm gonna get an overview and try to spot him out. Dead. Okay, we're answering. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. That's a lot of loot. We're going to sort all of this out in the next one. 